All right, let's do the hands-on challenge on test Apex triggers. So, create a unit test for a simple Apex trigger. So first, we have to install a simple Apex trigger, okay? And then write a unit test that achieves 100% coverage for the trigger and run your Apex test, okay? Let's first grab the code here, okay? I'm going to pop this up on a new tab. So this is the code. It's called trigger restrict contact by name. So I'm going to copy the name of the trigger. Um, do we have to rename the name? Let's see. Yeah, we, we don't have to. Restrict contact by name, okay? So I'm going to flip back to my developer console. Close our previous one. I'm going to put this lower. File new Apex trigger. It's on a contact object. Scroll down a bit to the contact object there. And the name should be restrict contact by name. So we have this and I'm going to go back to the code and copy that. Go to raw here. And just copy the whole thing. Flip back to my developer console. Paste. And then tidy up a bit. Well, it's already tidy. Okay, it's a trigger. Restrict contact by name on contact before insert or before update. So every time a new contact are being inserted, this will run. Or it's updated, this will also run. For contact the object or the s object the variable name is c for every record that is being triggering like that if the contact or the c dot last name equals invalid name add error the last name the last name is not allowed for dml so it is indeed a very simple trigger so it's just checking if the last name of the contact whenever it's being inserted or updated is the last name invalid name if it is well we can't have that in our database what is that invalid name right so now flip back to our challenge what is the trigger i'm done with this what is the test trigger name we have to create here the unit test must be in a separate apex class called test restrict contact by name okay the unit test must cover scenarios for all lines of code included in the apex trigger resulting 100 percent of code okay and then we have to run the test at least once well there's there is not much going on here so our even our test trigger would be extremely simple because it's just checking the last name right so what we do is we are just going to create a new contact with the last name invalid name and that's it it's going to be a hundred percent right what else there is to it there is nothing right well they just want to make sure we get the very simplest one okay file new a class okay a test is always a class even if you're testing a trigger it's always a class class of Test restrict contact by name. All right, so what we do is really simple here. Um, add is test, okay? So we when we save this, you will see the run, run test appear here. Boom, okay? So if I refer back to your playground on the test here, we have to create a public, another public, a static test method, right? And at is test static void. Okay, let's do just that. 
add is task static method returning void the name is create bad contact whatever you want to name it it doesn't have to be like that right so it's a contact object c new contact right and then um, the name of the contact or not the name the first name oopsie is john and then the last name is what the last name is invalid name add a semicolon there now i want to insert this but i don't want to just do insert because we can't do the system assert equal if i just do insert c right because i want to test it and i want to see the the trigger actually uh, trips this insert to do that i'm going to flip back to here and i'm going to copy this piece of code right and then modify it boom make it tidy okay and then database dot save result okay result database dot insert c so we are trying to insert c this way with a database method instead of doing a just an insert okay and then you put a semicolon keep forgetting the semicolon there so after we do that we want to actually assert it all right so remember from the previous trail we can also just copy this just one should be fine we don't have to do all three there so i'm just gonna do one and then we're going to put it here boom okay so meaning assert the result should not should not be because there is there is an exclamation point the result should not be a success it should not be a success because there is an invalid name the trigger would run and therefore it it will add an error here it will trip it okay so if I save this, that is the result of our uh, final Apex test for this trigger. So basically create a new contact, but don't do it just insert C like that, right? You can do that, but you want to do the insert like the, with the save result here. So you can assert it, okay? You got it? So once that's done, so we can just save it again one last time and scroll up and I'm going to run the test here run test and we want 100% code coverage it's green green is fine but 100% code coverage is another thing so let's there uh, restrict contact by name is 100% all blue here so we are good to go right so again this is the actual trigger there's there is uh, not much going on here and you can um, pause the video study it right and then that's it you can write your own uh, trigger test and complete the challenge so we're gonna flip back here and actually gra uh, grab our 500 points so i'll see you on the next video which is going to be create test data for apex tests all right Grab your 500 points and I'll see you in the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom